around for someone I know perhaps I can spot oh there you are well I certainly know you so let me just show this to you it's um, something from a 1994 case this one and it's something that it's a binoculars it collapses like that and goes into the pocket what a clever move that is from that and those are on springs those are on springs when it collapses it just does that and I think that's amazing here we go, look around, look around everything. Oh, something over here. Oh, yes, some more things to show you. They're growing a bit smaller too. 1994 case had some very nice little creatures, little items which I like very much. This is a charming one, which I paid $3.98 for. I found it in New York, and it said New York by the inch. And all this is, it's a bit like the bits of the Berlin Wall. When you open up the packaging, which I did some time ago, it's got some nasty, messy stuff inside there, but I'll take it out just to show you. And there's lots of bits of clay or something like that. Part of Manhattan Island, that is. Definitely part of Manhattan, they guarantee it. So I've got a little bit of New York by the inch for a bargain price of $3.98. Land by the inch from New York. What a lovely idea. I must start looking around for other things like that. This is a very nice little toy for kids to have in school, I suppose. It's um, it's a pencil sharpener, which is fair enough, and it's nice because in the pencil sharpener there, as you're sharpening the pencil, all the little bits of mess are in kept inside, and I'll take it out, and I won't shake it now, but there's some, some of the um, pencil that's come off there. So that part is it's quite nice. It's a nice little pencil sharpener, but there's a much nicer thing on the top, if I can find it this way around, that's right, like that. And that's the red bit, which is a very, very clever idea, this. I've never seen this in a little children's school toy before. It's got in it a little elastic bands. And you take them out, and I'll put this back in again. And then what you do, this is a clever bit, you put it over the front there, and over the back bit there, like that. And when I pull the trigger, a tiny little green thing pops up, which makes a band fire across the table. Woof! Woo! Did you see it? No, it's missing. Oh, well. I've got two left anyway. So, a very neat little toy, that. It's got two little purposes. So, sharpen pencils and to fire elastic bands with very small ones, but it's a very neat little thing. I love things are small and neat. Now, here's something since 1994 when I picked up these items, I've never solved until the other evening. I thought, I've got to do it. These pieces are all magnets, very strong magnets, very, very strong magnets. And when they're put together like this, they all stick together. And when you get them in the right order, then re reading across it, let's see if I put it back in the right order. One plus two, no, let's put that four plus two, minus two is that. Oh, so I don't know what it is, I've reset it. But anyway, the idea is to put these so that when you do the simple multiplication and division and adding signs, you get an equal sign and you end up with a figure here. And it took me about half an hour one evening to set that up so that it all works. It's a lot of fun to actually play with the pieces because, I mean, they roll around and do extraordinary things like that where you, where you move around and, and influence each other and clap together. And there's lots of play value there as well as the fun of doing some simple mathematical calculations and finding out if you can get your arithmetic right. So that's been a great fun to do and I'm so pleased to have finally solved it. I'm going to try and do it again now. <laughs> Here's another stationary item, but a lot of fun. It's a ballpoint pen. There we are, the ballpoint comes out there. But as I'm doing this, watch what happens in this tiny little window up here. There's a tiny little wheel there which is telling you your fortune. And you have to look at it and read it and ask it a question and then it'll give you some advice. And there's about ooh, seven or eight little tiny messages there. Each time you're doing it, it's spinning it like a, like a one-armed bandit in a... In a, in a, in a, in a in a place where you can go and pull a one arm bandits. It's a lot of fun for kids to play with because it's a functioning ballpoint pen and yet there's a bit of fun in the top there with something that's telling them to do or not to do. I like that too as well. And here's another stationary item which is a very clever one. Well, what is it? It's bizarre, isn't it? It turns out that it's actually a very, very cleverly designed staple remover. There's some things going on there which are hard to see but I can demonstrate them. 
by removing the staple. That very sharp piece of metal there goes underneath the staple like that. When you pull like that, it pulls it up. Look, and puts it down. Isn't that nice? So I must have a go at undoing this bit of paper, which I'm not quite sure it's been, why it's been stapled up. It's very neat and very effective. But while you can get that in there, it'll pull it up. That's all right, isn't it? Let's see what's been written in it. Oh no! Oh dear! Oh dear! <sighs> Do not staple together. Well, I've unstapled it now, so I've done the right thing there. <laughs> yes, a bit of fun to do. The last item is a, nothing to do with children and um, schools and things, but it's just a delightful thing to entertain people. This is for Halloween, really. It's a Halloween box with lots of spooks and things, like you had Halloween bats and spiders and things. But the method of opening up is, is absolutely brilliant. I've got several of these in my collection because I like the idea of it. You're supposed to roll it around, hold up by the tab, and then undo each of these in turn. So there we start with a witch at the first level, and there's a he he he, and there's a bit of message there to read. And then you just unroll it right across the table. So let's have a go. Here's the next stage. There's a, whoa, there's a big spooky looking man. A green, a green giant. And the next one, oh, there's typical ghosts. And the next one, what's that? Oh, a skeleton, look, a skeleton appearing now, with bones and everything. And the next one, horrible red spider. And the next one, oh, we're looking, just, just keep doing it. Snakes alive, snakes alive. Come on, dear, there's two snakes there, yes, that's right. And the next one, what's this one here? Oh, it's a cat, a black cat. Is that lucky or unlucky? I don't know. And the last one, which is a very nice idea, this, you just lift this up and go woof like that. And there's a whole box full of creepy crawlies, horrible creepy crawlies. What a beautiful idea, isn't it? And so well constructed. You just roll it up again at the end or just hang it up on the wall for Halloween parties. Magnificent. Very, very good design, this. Thank <laughs> you.